Alright, welcome back to Sonic Heroes. Last time we went through Team Sonic, and now we're going to go through Team Dark. And like I said during the the end of Team Sonic, um, basically the remain remainder of this game, you just go through the same levels like with the rest of the teams. And because of that, I have two guests for each uh, remaining team now, so we have... <laughs> yeah, you guys can say hi now. <laughs> hi! Yep. Five. I'm the edgiest hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost something that Joey would say. Yeah, right. Yeah, and we, no, we got Maddie. Here. Yeah, we got Maddie and Jason. Yes. So. Hi. 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 Team Dark. Yep. Okay, we're gonna let the intro play out. Here we go. Yeah. Feel, feel free to talk in the cutscenes because I did that a lot in my in the team song. Yeah, we have some titles, so. Yeah. What is with that boob window, Rouge? I was gonna say I really don't like this outfit. <laughs> this outfit look always looked really weird to me. Didn't she have like fur? Didn't she have like fluffy bits in in shadow? Yeah, Not I really, think. No. Mm. But, like I think mm. it was like more of a collar around her neck or something like that. What's your more her? Well, I, 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 it, I it, would like it, to it, point I, out, though. Go ahead. I would like to point out that all of her outfits are accommodating for her wings on her back. Like mm. they have, they all have to have like a low cut at the bottom, so her wings can go through. Right. That's kind of nice, I guess. Anyway, I don't mind the belt though. Yeah, it just no, looks the too. Cool. The, the, <laughs> the, the outfit is okay. It's just that. Just that fucking titty window, like, who thought it was necessary for that? <laughs> it just doesn't look as natural as, like, the SA2 or the one in Shadow. Like, I don't know how to explain right. it, but it doesn't look as nice. <laughs> then, it's then it's settled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, that was so actually not a good point to mention that this is the introduction of uh, E123 Omega. Yep. Like, the... Omega will be a mainstay in the series. Forever, yeah. Ever, pretty much. I, it make it makes sense, like canonically, why Eggman would want to make another E series robot. Because as far as he's concerned, uh, he he never knew about Gamma like d uh, going against him. Because mm. right. like he made a bunch of Gamma, he made a bunch of Gammas in SA two as well. <laughs> right. So uh, before we move on, have Shadow. Shadow is yeah. back. Yeah. And he has, a, and he has amnesia. Yep, that's. It's basically just. It's basically just a thing in this game. It doesn't really go anywhere, but um, that's right. gonna be something to dis to discuss when I play Shadow in like five years. <laughs> yeah. Um. And anyways, there uh, any major difference between S Team Sonic and Sh and Team Dark is there's not much except for Team Dark is actually considered the hard mode. Yeah, and what the game like uh, ju usually means by being hard is. A lot of the time, it's just more enemies. Like, there's not much difference in terms of like actual level design. Like, well, the stages are longer. Yeah, yeah but the yeah. Are longer. Much longer. Oh, Good luck, A ranking some of these. Yeah. But um. Poison. Um, but another major difference is um we're gonna get to up to soon enough is uh you you already explained I'm gonna assume you already explained that each team has a different team blast. Uh, I. I mentioned a bit of that. Um, I haven't. I've already yeah. talked about what the others do. All right. Well. So, well. Did you already mention? You already. I'm gonna guess you mentioned already that Team Sonic is like you can have Sonic keep doing the light speed dash. Yeah. It's a. Uh... For Team Dark, <laughs> time freeze. Yeah. But... Time break. Yeah. <laughs> it's. Uh, I. I forget. What, I think it was called. I forget what the team boss is called specifically. Chaos Inferno, I believe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, like. What... Yeah. It's a. It's also. It, it, it's neat because it stops the enemies, but at the same time, it can also be a detriment when some of the environment is interactable. Yeah, I think on like Team Dark's like secondary Team Blast um, thing is probably my least favorite because the, the the game doesn't the level design doesn't really um, help like being frozen. Like, there's nothing that really benefits you from that. Actually, there is one benefit. Um, if I'm mm. I, if I remember correctly, I believe the timer freezes. So can, it's oh, that's true. Score. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you're going for time score, that'll help you get a little bit of an edge. That's true, I guess. 
Um, but I think you can turn it off at any moment by hitting the button again. Yeah, that's a that's a convenient uh, convenience thing. Like every, you can turn off the um, team blast thing by just pressing Z, and it will just uh, go back to the recharge bar again. Right. Um. Right. I'm. I guess. I guess just for the sake of uh, stick, sticking to one team, we'll aim, we'll, we'll leave roses and uh, chaoses out of the out of the discussion. <laughs> Yeah, we'll talk about. I'll talk about that with the other with the other groups. Right. But um, I guess to just uh, start off simple here, what, like, what's your guys' like experience with heroes? Um. Well. Okay. As we mentioned in the C's run, um, I never grew up the GameCube version. In fact, I never played the GameCube version until roughly last year when you sent it to me. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I grew up with the freaking PS2 version. Yeah. I never, I didn't necessarily find anything wrong with it until I played the GameCube version. Yeah, it's one of those things where like once you, once you play it, you can't go back. No. Because like this is like the this game is really smooth uh, to play on the GameCube one. Yeah. Like how can I even think about playing this game at 30 frames? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, anyway, Maddie, you're- which... For the, um, the cutscenes to play normally, because I think they're pre-rendered. I think the- I think the cutscenes are pre-rendered. Oh yeah, the cutscenes are, they're pre-rendered. He- Well, they're full, full frames, but, um, gameplay is not. The g version I had, after I played Riders, I had the PS2 version, because we didn't- We had a GameCube, but advertisements over here for Australia for, uh, GameCube games weren't very high. Mm. I don't even know we why. Didn't even know there was a there was, we didn't even know there was a Zelda on GameCube. We didn't even know there was a Mario Kart on the GameCube until the until the Wii came out. So <laughs> I don't even know why. I don't even know why I got the game in the PS2 version. I didn't actually get a PS2 <laughs> much until much later, so I don't have many memories with that with that machine. I I had I had two different PS2s. I had the big old clunky silver one and the <laughs> slim one that I have now. Oh yeah, we had, yeah same here, but yeah exactly actually. I'm old as fuck. Yeah. I'm old as heck. We're the same age. <laughs> I don't care. Probably. Actually, I think Harry's the youngest out of the three of us. Yeah, I think I am. Yeah. We're shot chaos. Oh, you're not gonna shot chaos inferno. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to eventually, but. <laughs> As, as much as people give heroes crap, I will have to say, the freaking when you do the mission clear, the whole poses that they do put a lot of personality. I love them, characters. yeah. Like the, I think the team, the team leader is the one who always compliments, uh, comments, right? I be yeah, I believe so. Yes. Because I, I always hear team, I always hear the flying formation whenever I fight the Egg Emperor. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to go out of my way to hear the office. Um, I was gonna say uh. Shoot, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Uh, we were talking about like getting into heroes and all that, and just experience. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Um, I, 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 I did enjoy my time with the PS2 version, but like, especially after the C's run, after I heard all those missing sound sound effects that apparently are not there in the PS2 version, I'm like, yeah, what went wrong? <laughs> yeah, because um, the P like, went like, like wrong. <laughs> half of my com half of my commentary was me complaining about the sound effects. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I love Omega. <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's uh, he's great. <laughs> I just, now I charge. Now I charge. Fire. Like he's he's like, it's one of those no nonsense characters, but it's funny. Right. Oh, now I remember what I was gonna ask you. Do you already have the chaos all the chaos emeralds? Um, I think I missed like two or three. Um, I forget where they were though. You can look them up like later. Yeah. I hope you got them in the Rose run because it's the easiest way to get the Chaos Emeralds is, is Team Rose. Because the stages are shorter with, with Team Rose. Yes. Yeah. Yes. God anyway, help you if you try to do the chaotic stuff. Yeah. Oof. Big maximum oof. Or, or Team Dark for that matter. Anyway, oh crap. I would, since we're all doing this now and I'm more of a character expert than than a gameplay expert. That's pretty much my role here at Seas is character character depth. Yeah. So and design. As everyone knows, and, and design, yes, I'm good at that too. 
sometimes. Whoa. So here, here we have Team Dark. Omega, Shadow, and Rouge. You know Rouge, she's pretty much doing her own thing. She still retains her old personality. She's more of a, like, a... She's kind of a bit more serious Oops. a bit now because oh. of Shadow's return. And yeah. I would like to yeah. point out, in that, opening, in that opening movie, Shadow, the first thing he did when he woke up and the whole thing was exploding was to get her out of the way. Yeah. I do like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, actually, she, would actually able, she, would, going... she would have been able to move fine. But he yeah. was just like, I'm getting you out of the way, shit's exploding. Yeah. Actually, actually going into that is, I, Ru I think Rouge is pretty much the team leader here. Pretty much, yeah. Uh... pretty much the de facto leader of the team. People say, it's Shadow, and I'm like, no, it's not. He's just the Well, Rouge Ru is the reason why everybody, <laughs> Rouge is the reason why we two are even tolerating each other. Yeah, that she's the one that got, got the group together to begin with. Right, right, because like you saw at the end of the cutscene, you saw it looked like Omega and, Sh and Shadow really wanted to strangle each other. Yeah, well, they were just they were like like thirty seconds ago, they were just trying to kill each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, and, like, and it's obvious they're reluctantly working together for now. I mean, and yeah. then, but I like one thing I really do like it with the later games is like Shadow and Omega are pretty much best buds. Yeah, you can. That that's one uh, positive I will give O6. Yeah. Like, say we were Sonic Chronicles, um, but, like, one thing I really liked was, what was Shadow's, like, v like very clear concern for Omega. Yeah. And, um... Oh, I missed a checkpoint, but whatever, it should be fine. And then there's also, um, episode in Shadow's episode in 06. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Like, you can, you can t yes. tell with, uh, Shadow's expression, like, uh... What? We don't have time to unpack all that. Like, what, what, yeah, like, cause like, like Omega's just like, has a story. <laughs> cause like the the way uh, Omega's like the one who defeats and steals you away in the future is me. Like, and Shadow like, like clearly has like a like a reaction to that. Yeah, and it, yeah, and I get the feeling that like even though Omega is you know just like you know he is, he, he he's just very simply a robot, but he he he, he really did like. You can tell they're friends. Like he, just, yeah. he sounds like he like the fact that this, that he has to do this kind of thing. Yeah. Even even though even though Sha even though Six also gave Omega the the you know the very generic robotic voice. Yeah. Th this right. section oh, always. Now the, 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 now the, yeah. Th this section <laughs> this section always <laughs> felt wonky. <laughs> now there's two rocks. <laughs> the, 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 these rock, these rock things have like the worst, some of the worst case of uh, of rubber band AI. You mean, you mean like, like, you know, the truck in city game? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's a little rubber band. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like the the. Uh, that's not a rubber band. That's that's on rail. <laughs> oh crap. I think it's because I. No, I, I think I got- I think it's because I got hit. Right there at the end, too. Actually, um, you, you've you gone all the earrings before, right? Yep, uh, yep. How strict- hey, um, how strict is it? <sighs> I- I did it, like, over a decade ago. <laughs> um... Well, another one thing, you can't lose a sing- you can't die during a stage or else you lose your points. Yeah, well, I- I managed- managed to get an A- A rank in Egg Flate, uh, even though I died, like, midway, somehow. So, um, now that Eggman has shown up, now that Eggman has shown up, um, it's probably common knowledge by now, but this was Eggman's original voice act, Dan Bristow's last performance. Yep. Well, wasn't Battle? Eggman. I thought that was Battle. Wasn't that Battle? Oh, God. I have played Battle, but I think they just reused some clips. That sounds in, about uh, right. Eggman's case. I think the others all have a... I think the other playable characters all have a... Lines. Like I'm for the game. What? Is, is new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sonic's whoop. And eight um, Amy's good boss. Going, oh. <laughs> the boss is more, dark. more health? I don't know. Maybe. By the way, since I can't hear it, tell us what Omega says. Because hey, you made, was it him who made the final hit? Yep. What, what does he say? <laughs> Cruiser battleship destroyed. <laughs> Cruiser battleship. I I think destroyed. he just I think he just says the name of something destroyed. 
I can't wait to hear what he says and over the team. And we're here in oh, I love um, this. Great, this I love this I level. Love, I love this stage. I love the I love the song, and I especially love the remix in Olympics. Yeah. Whatever it takes. Cause this uh, th this level has Any a. Objections? Negative. Th this one. <laughs> yeah, I like how they like shift around and stuff. <laughs> No, I was gonna say this and Power Plant have like a future level kind of vibe uh, for, to going on, and something about future level, future esque levels, I just really enjoy in games. It's one of the reasons why those the future stages in Crash Three are some of my favorites in that game. But you know, just watch this. And the Sonic Ride is a very futuristic. Just this. Um, for the first, I, I like to talk about team dynamics, not in terms of gameplay, but with characters' personalities and that clashing. Mm. For Team Sonic, it's just a bunch of good, good guys, good, good guys, good bros going to save the world. For Team yeah. Dark, however, there's an underlying story here, but they're all here for their own motivation. Shadow, yeah, yeah, find um, out yeah like um, doing. Omega, point, Omega, um... Omega wants to kill. Omega wants to kill, and Rouge was looking for treasure. As yeah, is yeah, I, I, yeah. Um, Team Dark probably has the big, probably has the most, has the biggest subplot of them. Like the only yeah. not one that's not, that's not so simple. Yeah, because uh, the the thing with uh, Team Sonic is that, um, like, it was basically it was trying to harken back to the classics, where it's literally. Eggman's doing a bad thing, he's trying to take over the world, stop him and go. <laughs> right, right. But um, the others have a little bit more substance, but not by a lot. And Team Dark's like, ooh, mystery, injury. Yeah. Oh, right. That window never breaks. <laughs> yeah. I mean... The window that doesn't shatter. I mean... The, the one that you very clearly clipped through. <laughs> yeah. Rouge! Rouge! Re Face through the window. Yeah, Shadow, that happens. But we um, Shadow, um, also, um, I think Shadow otherwise plays exactly like Sonic. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's any difference whatsoever. I don't think there is. Cause like he also, you know, he even has I the black tornado. Even has the black tornado, which is just the same as Sonic's blue tornado. Yeah, it's just, yeah, just color difference. Like, um, I know I'm getting, it, like, uh, like, Sonic and Shadow are the only ones who I think, who I think are, like, direct clones of each other. Yeah. Well, I mean, like... Which is the point, considering the whole plot point of SA2. Well, I mean, like, I think yeah. even, I think even yeah. Rouge, when she's by herself, has a different attack compared to Tails. Uh, no, I bombs. think, I think she still has the ring bombs. Oh, was it ring bombs? Because for some reason yeah. I thought, a, I, for some reason I thought she's yeah, a... just kind of, just kind of dr like, drill kick. Nah, nah, nah. That would have been cool though. No, that's S that's SA that's two. She has a drill kick there. And I was about to say, if you were thinking of bombs, you were probably thinking of the heart-shaped bombs from Generations. Yeah. That or Battle of Six. Oh yeah. Battle of Six, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. The the reason why uh, why the Team Dark levels are longer are, you, are generally just because they put more enemies in your face. Right, right. There's a lot more stop and go. I noticed. Yeah. Do you want some enemies? Here's some enemies. Drops enemies. God damn it, I didn't want any more enemies. Well, you got more enemies! Stop Kill spawning me. mobs! <laughs> Stop hurting me! <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, uh, have, we t have you talked about uh, your experience with heroes, uh, Mighty? I think she said she had the PS2 version. Right. I had the PS2 version. Did she have stab? Yes, he did. <laughs> Distracted by dabs. Um, okay. Um, fun fact: I never completed heroes. Oh. Oh. Done. I beat all the How stories. Have you finished any? Have you finished any of the stories at least? Oh, I finished the stories. I just didn't know there were chaos emeralds in the game. Oh. Eleven? <laughs> I was like ten, maybe. <laughs> well, time for the most undramatic. Uh, uh, yeah, talk about any climax. <laughs> Where? I was like, there should be more. Like, what happened? It was like, oh. Like, what so the fuck? There's chaos emeralds in this game! <laughs> By the way, Harry, question. What's the extra mission for this one? What, to, for Chaotix? Or... No, for, uh, well... Ooh. 
Uh, no, it's just hard mode for everybody else, right? Uh, or, for, or oh, 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 okay, uh, I see what you mean now. Okay, so, uh, for the secondary missions, Team Sonic, I believe, is, uh, all, all of the mission secondary objectives are just time, time attacks. I think Team Dark has killed 200 enemies or something like that. Oh, lord. Yeah, Team Rose is 200 rings, and Chaotix is just a harder vis version of the mission you already did. Was, so. Was... Oh wait, oh wait, wait, oh now I remember, wasn't it for Team Chaotix, it was like the flowers? Uh, in this stage? Because I, I don't remember what, this, I don't remember what it was for, for uh, Grand Metropolis. Oh, it was kill all the enemies. Oh. I don't know what the secondary one is. I thought it, I thought it was to not get detected. Or is that an egg fleet? The, I know that's an egg fleet, yeah. There's that's a few, so, there's a so few what do missions. we do with the extra mission on that one? I wouldn't be able to tell you. There's a lot I don't remember. Blow up! <laughs> Blows up! Blow up! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, I love these uh, end poses. Yeah, like, like just like, 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 uh, carrying Rouge and all that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um... I'm tired, let me sit in your hand. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 the I, I haven't really, um... Talked about um, my my ex uh, first experience with this game, but the um, this was actually my first 3D Sonic game. Uh, if you don't count 3D Blast, which I don't, um, mm -hmm. and I remember we, me and my siblings actually shared one file, and I remember my one of my sisters had t uh, Team Sonic, my brother had Team Dark, and I had Team Rose, and no one had Chaotix because my other oh, sister. Oh, was there. Yeah, that's only there for Team Dark. Um, uh, was it, uh, yeah, no, my, oh, my, head spinning. My, my other sister didn't play this game, so, uh, we just said screw it, and we just started playing Team Chaotix at one point, but I remember finding it hysterical at, uh, when I found out that Big's triangle uh, dive or whatever was, uh, him using an umbrella, <laughs> uh -huh. um, but, I don't know, uh, I, I go into, I go into, like, Sonic, um, like, both the classics and the, mo and the, uh, 3D stuff, like, around the same time, so I don't really have much of a, um, whatchamacallit, you three before? well, I, I, I don't really have a, necessarily a bias with either one of them, I generally prefer 3D Sonic, but I got into the, I got into both sides of the series around the same time, so, you know. That was very jittery there. Yeah. It always looks like that. Mm. But, mm. By the way, when, you, when, when, when you're at level 3 with speed, um, and you automatically create a tornado when you attack, right? Kind of. Yeah, pretty much. Um, the homing attack... Because that's how you're able to just homing attack onto the poles, right? Yeah, uh, your homing attack, for lack of a better term, at, um... On level three, gains wind properties. Where uh, when you ho that is really janky. That I, I swear that it's like random if that's actually gonna work or not. Um, but the when you're having an attack at something on level three, um, stuff that you'd usually have to use tornado or rocket excel for, you just be able to activate with the homing attack instead, which makes things a lot more convenient. Yeah. So yeah. Oh man, all of it's kind of weird <laughs> not hearing anything. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Let me just skip this. I don't know, man. Don't. don't worry, I'm used to long bouts of silence. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, well, this is, well, this is a different kind of silence. I mean, you guys can like load up like the music track on your side somewhere if you want. Okay, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Where is it? And Shadow once again dabs. <laughs> do that. Oh crap. Is this what the kids call a meme? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, fun fact about Shadow, um He memes. Technically <laughs> he, he memes. No, he's technically fifty over fifty plus years old. Yeah. Well he, otherwise he's ageless, isn't he? 
Yeah, well, the whole point point of his existence was to be like he he's like he's basically immune from like being sick or, or anything like that. That this like gotta love that ultimate gotta love that ultimate life form benefit. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, it, that that's why he's that that's why he's. Yeah, he he was meant to be like some kind of cure. Yeah, like that's the real reason why he's called the ultimate life. Because yeah, he's like yeah, super healthy. Like, I think they went over there in like a, in a man in a Japanese manual or something like that. Yeah. Because like the like, there's something was that that Maria had. Yeah, like nits or something. It's like uh, equivalent of AIDS. So. Whatever it was, Maria had a uh, had a had a, had a had a fatal disease. I think. Yeah, and um, Shadow is is like basically meant to be a cure. Right, he, or he at least the basis for a cure. He, yeah. He has antibodies in his system that can make up cures. Yeah. And immortality. Right. And immortality. Don't ask how the chaos power is in that, but. <laughs> yeah, well. No, chaos emerald radiation. But it actually brings a more somber tone to Shadow because if yeah. he ever ever had a family he would outgrow he would never age and probably never die see like if, if uh, uh probably why he had again. Probably, uh, look too. yeah because like, if, if <laughs> i mean like if a uh, gun didn't like just pull the plug on the whole thing like uh, shadow could have just become like a, a cure for like the human race entirely <laughs> you know what i just realized i don't think shadow mentions maria at all in this game i don't think he does no because no. he has amnesia well i mean he still has amnesia in um in shadow, but in my humans, but he's but he has flashes of Maria. Mm. Uh, something must something must be triggered after after this game. Something must be triggered. Yes, yeah, so I'm not. When he had a head that looks like his twin. <laughs> I don't know. Like again, that the dark bolt popped in. <laughs> like you, you you can clearly tell that just again just having some bread crumbs ready for the next game, but they don't really want to focus on two focus on that's too much here because um like th th well, I mean was Shadow in development at this time? I wouldn't know. Well I mean wait what came right after this? Was it Riders? Um or I was it Shadow. Oh no no wait no Riders was fifteenth was fifteenth anniversary. Right. Probably the Shadow best Shadow had to come before Sh Shadow had to come before this because that's when the voice cast was changed. Right. All right, Eggman again. Just what is he up to this time? We're on our way to the Ark, so I guess that means we're going to. Remember when they got actual eight-year-olds? Voice to... tales. Remember when they had actual eight-year-olds play ta play tales? Yeah, they yeah. stopped that after this game. <laughs> yeah, it, it's well, it's the reason why I I can't harp on the uh, tales is acting in the adventure games too much because it is lit like literally kids doing it. I wonder what happens he's on it. <laughs> it was actually it was actually siblings because the, yeah. the first Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yeah, I think for this game specifically it's like um I think Tails, um Vector and then somebody else. Yeah. I remember uh, Nick, actually, Nick talking I think about this. I think it's I think it's Vector. It was like a, the dad there, mom there, and- There's actually oh, a family was, in here voicing some of the oh, characters, yeah. so yeah. Oh, by the way, they, get, they managed to get away with saying broad, right? <laughs> yeah. What do you think you're doing here? <laughs> Who's this broad? <laughs> a client adversary, perhaps. You mean the bad guys? <laughs> just stay out of my way! Shadow and Omega say nothing during this. They just- uh, Shadow just, just nods. Like, they're just it's like, that, okay, you know Rouge what? wants to go beat some guy. And besides the intro cutscene, it's that that made me realize that Rouge was a leader. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, and this so, is, uh, this is a good boss. Oh yeah, because Team Fault never runs into them. Oh no, they don't, this no. This the first introduction they've had since they didn't show up. For I don't know how many years since nothing yeah, chaotic. Yeah, well, what is the gap between this and chaotic? Yeah, well, this is kind of basically a reboot for the chaotic. Oh crap. More or less. Yeah. Because no, we don't have mighty or um. Yeah, because um, because uh, I think in chaotic. Right, no, no, right 
Yeah, I, I think in Knuckles Cha Chaotix, uh, it lists, like, Charmy as being sophisticated or something, which he clearly isn't now, so... Because he's six! He's by the way, actual uh, uh, by the way, I love what happens if Omega loses his teammates. Well, that's... Hello, <laughs> load on my back. Hello, load off my back. Yeah, I love that. Uh, Fucking and... organics. Loki, I have... I have Worthless consumer models. <laughs> 